<laughs> April 16, 1917, Emile was still sick. But the general needed every soldier who could stand to launch his big offensive. Once again, it was to be the battle that would bring an end to the war.
The blow was fatal. No. The Nivelle Offensive was a bloodbath, a butchery. Soon, mutiny spread throughout the French infantry divisions, and the offensive was abandoned. Emile was jailed with the other rebels, waiting to be court-martialed. The dogs of war, man's best and most loyal friend, shared the same day-to-day -day as the soldiers. Whether carrying messages, saving the wounded, or sweeping for mines, they never failed to fulfill their duty.
Allez, Carlos. Allez, couche. Carl, tiens bon. Allez, Carl. Allez, Carl. Tiens bon. Tiens bon. Ça va aller. Allez, couche. Allez, Carl. Allez. Voilà, c'est bien. Ça va aller, allez. Allez, quoi Carl, tiens bon. Allez, Carl. Allez, Carl. Allez, quoi Tiens bon, tiens bon. Carl, tiens bon. Ça va aller, allez. Allez. Tiens bon, tiens. Allez, Carl. Carl, tiens bon. Carl, tiens bon. Allez, Carl. One look from his son was enough for Carl to forget three years of war and exile. <laughs> Lawrence, stay home. After weeks without news of a meal, Marie finally received a letter from her father. Emile Chaillon. C'est l'heure. Dearest Marie, as the war ends for me, I have no regrets. I've seen too much horror. I hope fate has been more merciful to you. Our time on earth is brief, and mine has been filled with so much joy that I can only be thankful for how much I've been blessed, most especially for the wonder you brought into my life. This letter is my last. I've been found guilty by a military court for the death of an officer. It was not my intention to kill him. War makes men mad. Though I failed, Carl, I know my sacrifice has not been in vain. I fought for my country and my liberty. My honor is assured. Since it is the will of God to separate us on earth, I hope we'll meet again in heaven. Keep me in your prayers. Your loving Baba. Always. Though their bodies 
have long since returned to dust. Their sacrifice still lives on. We must strive to cherish their memory and never 